Hey guys, Eagle here. It's been a while since I've recorded anything on Project Duo. But we are back with Project Lag. Back with Project... No, back with Project Duo. As you can see, a site has been doing a lot on our base. Like, a lot. Insane amounts. So I... I, I needed... Um, return the favor. I have an idea of how I'm going to do that, but I just need to figure out how to do it. Which may be in a later video. But for now, welcome back to Project Duo. Holy magenta, because I uh, decorated a little bit. It's horrible decoration skills. I've got to show off my stuff or whatever. But today I need to go mining. I want to get um, levels. Um, I want to get Silk Touch. And then I also want to finish my level 30 enchants on my other armors, on these two. I'm grab these, um, my level 30 enchant on my dummy boost because I like it. Feather Falling 4 is really good. Sometimes, uh, blah, 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 blah. Just gonna start going mining. I found this huge cave system underneath our base, apparently. That had quite a bit of stuff in it. That I haven't fully explored yet. So I'm just gonna do that. I did a level 30 enchant on a, on a diamond sword right here. Another second one, I got Smite 4, which helped me get the experience for zombies. But for my idea of what I want to do... I think it's this way, actually. My idea that I want to do to give to give back to not only a site for doing my base, but also to the server, was also um, fishing. Fishing for day seven. Michael has the same idea. We have to figure out how to get there. I've already been there, just to scope it out. And it is the uh, roof of the Nether. Make a zombie pigment farm on the roof of the Nether. Very hard to do like the hardest um, farms to build because you have to make a spawn I don't know I don't I actually don't know how to do it but I'm gonna figure it out and also something I want to say because I wasn't able to update video um, this is the first Minecraft content on my channel in a couple days first video in a first video in a couple days actually as well but I'm not dropping Minecraft my last two uploads were um, Action Studios, Stickerina Dimensions, and Titanfall. I'm not dropping Minecraft. I'm not becoming a first-person shooter um, YouTuber, FPS YouTuber. I'm just getting in. I'm broadening my horizons of YouTube, so to say. I'm trying to expand my channel because you know, Minecraft may not be around forever. So. It's more like a fail-safe, or not fail-safe, a backup plan, so to say. Kind of. Okay, I've explored most of this area. Some places I really haven't. I just want to get more iron, redstone, ooh, that's a glitch. Redstone and whatnot, and you know, just the usual stuff. The creeper. Creeper, 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 creeper. See what's over here. I don't know if I've been over here yet. Oops, I missed. Okay. Also, keep an eye on my SoundCloud. I okay. I had an idea for something that my friend gave me the idea for, kind of. Now, I'll tell you guys what it is here in a second. I'm still trying to still trying to figure it out as of right now. I'm still trying to get it done. But someone gave me the horrible idea of mixing together trap and chill step from what I call a chill trap hybrid which is gonna be hell to make I'm already about halfway done with it I just need to do some finishing touches but it is just it is interesting to do to say the least it's it, it was fun to start it but now not just like you know does it sound too much like trap does it sound too much like chill step is it a is it a happy medium and usually it's really not going to be that way because chill step and trap are almost polar opposites in terms of genre and in terms of uh, what's it called what they have chill step you know it's chill very melodic tones with a little bit of bass and some beats excuse me trap on the other hand it's all about the beat and it's all about um this is what one of my old teachers calls torque music 
so they're very different. But my idea was I've made, I'm getting more, there's my clock. I'm getting more advanced of using, um, ooh, I wish I had my fortune picked, whatever. Of using FL Studio, so I'm, I'm starting to be able to use, I may want to get a keyboard in the future, sorry I'm just skipping around my sentences. But I've been able to use my laptop keyboard, that's, that's gravel, which, I may be able, I'm using a form of a keyboard, I was able to make a melody, so to say, a chill step-ish melody, then I added some trap beats into it, I'm trying to add a, a trap bass line synth and a drop, but I don't know how well that's going to work. So we'll see. Oh, let's see. I have some ideas for community projects on Project Duo. I'm trying to build the community. We've had we've added a few actually added a few new members since last time. Um, who's new? Let's see. Two people I believe we added since last time. One of the site's friends, Takili which he's been on. I don't think he's recorded yet. And one of Jacob's friends, uh, Cracker Monkey, Donnie, which I know him. He's never been in a recording, but I know him a little bit. Dave joined. Cracker Monkey's more, uh, more active than Tequili, because he's been on a few times. Let's see. Just a few th small things have changed. And I uh, want to start doing community activities, so to say. Which, you know, would include, could include Splee for, you know, setting up his Fravel games somewhere. Or just like, the site had the idea of, because here we have, we have a world border restriction of 6,000 blocks. He had the idea of expanding it to the normal of, I think it was 600,000 or 6 million blocks or whatever, is the normal border. And letting people go crazy for, like, Four or five hours or something, or not even that long, but at one certain time, no matter doesn't matter who's in or out of the border, we set the border back to six thousand. And I believe you can set it to where if you're outside of the border, you will start taking damage. Which that's very mean. I think I said how much damage you take. So people have to, you know, it's like a it's a risk. It's like it's risk. Do you go out and explore? uncharted territory with the risk of dying or do you play it safe and not explore that much it's just it's a it's an interesting idea also I had the idea last night of a community PvP tournament we can have like two brackets those two want if you want to use your stuff or you want to use say it's preset stuff or something because the Using your own stuff in PvP, that would be more like survival games where you, you use what you have. Preset PvP just, you know, it's like basically kit PvP. Kind of. I just zoned out. Apologies. It's like kit PvP where you know you show off your P your PvP skills and not just your mining skills put into PvP pretty much. So I don't know, it's just I'll leave it up to these guys. I'm gonna it's really just an update video. I'm just my, going around mining. Um, I'll take you tour around our base. I think if I need to. But if you're watching this and you have any ideas how to delete bedrock, I have two ideas, and that is, I don't know if they'll work, but I've looked them up and apparently they work. It is using dark oak trees, the four, making the big dark oak trees, on the roof of the nether, and then sometimes, I think it said sometimes, the, the tree will grow downwards, which will delete any block below it. I think that's what it said. 
and then using a half slab and a wither skull on top of it may delete bedrock. These are back in 1.7.9 and I think they worked in the snapshots. I don't know if they still work. I can't find anything on the internet really about it. So I'll figure that out. Um, I've already made it to the roof of the nether and I've built another portal to the roof of the nether. Actually, to get out of the roof of the nether because once you're on the roof you can't break it because you can't break bedrock yet. So I made another portal on top. And if, I don't think you can go to the roof, but you can go home from the roof. Because our, our nether portal system is so screwed up. You always spawn back at Vermin's house, at a uh, Hunter's house. No matter where, what portal you go into. In this general area of areas, or whatever. Okay, I'm just going in circles now. So what's this down here? Is there exploring here? I don't even know. I'm just exploring, really. Um... I'm gonna make it back up, I guess. Then I'll be right back, I guess. Let's see something interesting. Which I doubt I will. Found something interesting? Not really. Wish I had my looting three sword, that would be amazing, but I don't have it on me. I should always carry it on me. Half gold with enchanted sword. Yeah, stop it. Okay, I don't think I got anything off that guy. Bones. Nah, nothing. I love with the sword is that I can if I critical hit if I critical hit if I crit hit if I crit skeletons and zombies I basically one hit kill them. I think the same goes for same goes for wither wither skeletons too I believe as well as zombie pigment maybe. What was that? I think I, I thought I heard a villager. I do hear a villager. There's a villager around here. There's another portal around here. Sites. I can't get a good bearing of where they are. Oh, it's iron. I don't think they're on this level. I can't. I can barely tell. Probably your sites. Where was base? Do remember how? He... That's loud. Oh, it's my sound all the way up, don't I? I don't know if there's anything hidden here. What's this? It's the ravine.
I'm gonna find my way out and I'll be right back. Okay, back in my base. Back in the magenta filled hell. Um, I guess this is what a site has done. We got our normal farms here. No more rabbits for some reason. Uh, farm. Then he has this stone collect. That's very loud. Hold on, I'm so sorry. S stone smelter because he's built a path to spawn. This whole path goes all the way to spawn. Got a cactus, cactus, cactus farm, as well as melon farms, melon and watermelon farm, or melon and pumpkin farm. So that's fancy dancy. Um, his base over there. This is basically all it's changed. Um. I'm probably gonna make a automatic chicken farm. So yeah, I might do that maybe. I'll do that next episode. There you go. I'll make an automatic chicken farm next episode. I find a place to put it. I think I'll put it somewhere in my base actually. Let me let's go, let's just scout a place out. A scout out scout out a place to put it. Um. Uh, over here, I guess. This will work, I guess. I don't know how. I'll almost do a. I guess a five by five, I guess. I don't know how big it needs to be. Two, three, four, five. I don't know. I don't remember the exact schematics. Three, four, five. I've done it before. It wasn't very. Didn't work very well. So I'm gonna do it, and hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna scrap the recording and say fuck it. But I'm gonna try. So let me clear this out. I'll do four up, so I know I have ample room. I think five by five should be big enough. I think the biggest it is is like five longs. So I don't remember. I'll four up. I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like for the short-ish episode, more or less an update video on the server and on my channel, about my channel, about the server. Um, yeah. I'm going to get the schematics for this. The chicken farm I'm going to build. Because we, uh, we have unlimited eggs. And that's what that farm runs off of, is eggs. So yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Yeah.